Last year and the year before, we talked about lots of Cisco Associate level certifications, such as CCNA, Cisco Certified DevNet Associate, etc. We also talked about professional level certifications or Cisco professional level certifications. These are CCNP, Cisco Certified DevNet Professional, Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Professional, and many more. This time, let's discuss CCIE and other Cisco expert level certifications. Yes, it's not all CCIEs. And maybe you're wondering, what are the others? We have Cisco Certified DevNet Expert and Cisco Certified Design Expert, also known as CCDE. First, CCIE or Cisco Certified Internet Work Expert. CCIE has multiple tracks and most CCIE tracks are aligned with CCNP. For example, CCNP Security, we have CCIE Security. CCNP Data Center, we have CCIE Data Center. CCNP Service Provider, we have CCIE Service Provider. CCNP Collaboration, CCIE Collaboration, except for CCNP Enterprise. And why? Because CCIE Enterprise have two sub-tracks. These are CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure and CCIE Enterprise Wireless. So all in all, we have a total of six CCIE tracks. So to be a CCIE, you have to pass a core exam, which is one half of CCNP of any track. This costs 400 US dollars. Then you can now take the CCIE lab exam. So basically, if you are already CCNP, you are now eligible to take the CCIE lab exam for that particular track. For example, you are already CCNP security and you already pass S score. You can now take CCIE security lab exam, which is an eight hour long practical exam. This is or this CCIE lab exams are closed books and you should take this to CCIE testing center. There is also a mobile option that is like a temporary lab for some countries or cities. The CCIE lab exam cost 1,600 US dollars. Let's talk about Cisco Certified DevNet Expert. This is the same process of any CCIE track. You pass Dev Core exam, or if you already a Cisco Certified DevNet Professional, you are now eligible to take Cisco Certified DevNet Expert Lab Exam. Same cost, 1,600 US dollars. Both CCIE Lab Exam of any track and Cisco Certified DevNet Experts are eight hour hands-on lab exam. Both assesses your ability to deploy, configure, and troubleshoot Cisco solutions. But for Cisco DevNet Expert, it focuses more on complex automation and programmability. Now, if there is a major difference between CCIE tracks and Cisco DevNet Expert, CCIE focus on specific track and you will work exclusively on solutions within that domain. For example, in CCIE Data Center, you will be working on Cisco Nexus, Cisco UCS, Cisco ACI, Cisco MDS, etc. All data center technologies. No Cisco Catalyst switches, no Cisco Firepower, no Cisco wireless solutions. But for Cisco Certified DevNet Expert, you will be working on various devices from different tracks. So you will be or you will be seeing Nexus, Catalyst, iOS routers, ACI, Cisco Thousand Eyes, and you will also be working on open source and application tools, Docker, Python, Kubernetes, Terraform, Ansible, etc. Next, CCDE or Cisco Certified Design Expert. This is the only Cisco expert level certification that is not lab based. It's scenario based decision making and focus on designing networks. It's more conceptual, really different than CCIE. So how to be a CCDE? First, you have to take the written exam. It's a two hour multiple choice written exam. And when you pass, you will get a CCDE specialist batch. 
and you are now eligible to take the 8-hour scenario-based practical exam, where you, as a candidate, you need to design the most scalable, secure, and cost-effective solutions. Scenarios can be related to migration, like MPLS to SD-WAN, or designing centralized versus distributed security architecture, or choosing between or multiple routing protocols, such as PGP versus OSPF versus IS2IS. When you pass CCDE practical exam, you will get CCDE certification and CCDE design patch. Both CCDE written and CCDE practical exams are multiple choice and can be scheduled via Pearson VUE. But take note, CCDE practical exam is an eight hours with drag and drop option that match solutions with business constraints. And what makes it difficult is, is it follows the decision tree format, meaning your choices impacts or may impact later questions. All right, so for CCDE, I will repeat this again, no CLI, no troubleshooting, just high level design decisions. And most CCDE candidates are experienced CCIEs with strong background in network design and architecture across various technologies. Let's have a verdict. I will rank this eight Cisco expert level certifications. And we will base it like, if you only need one expert level, what would it be? So, number eight, the lowest in the list, we have CCIE collaboration. You see, voice and video, these are not the thing anymore, especially when the rise of affordable cloud-based collaboration software platforms, such as Zoom and MS Teams. On the, on the seventh spot, we have Cisco Certified DevNet Expert. Reason why this is one of the lowest in the list is because only few people or company organization knows there is such a certification, Cisco Certified DevNet Expert. Next will be CCIE service provider. This is actually a good track before, okay, back in the 90s, 2000s, until MPLS became less and less popular. And I would uh, estimate, I would assume that in CCIE service provider, um, on the exam, it covers roughly around 35 to 40% MPLS. Next, on our fifth spot, we have a CCDE or Cisco Certified Design Expert. It's arguably the most difficult exam or amongst any Cisco Expert level certification exam. Most people I know uh, that took CCI, CCDE or Cisco, Cisco Certified Design Expert have multiple CCIE, okay? But I will put it on the fifth spot because it's too much and the demand, it was high before, but it's, n it's not as high and demanding anymore um, in this decade, 2020s. And I don't rem recommend you to do, uh, to do CCDE either because one CCIE is enough. After that one CCIE, I would suggest you to go for more cloud and cybersecurity certifications. All right, in our fourth spot, we have the CCIE Enterprise Wireless. The coverage is actually more relevant in the real world. In the real world, you will see more wireless endpoints. It also covers routing and switching, and it's a little less than the more popular CCIE Enterprise Wireless track, but at least you have wireless and wired uh, technologies. Next, the number three spot will be CCIE Data Center. So even though we know Arista is slowly killing Cisco Nexus or Cisco data center networking business, the CCIE data center covers or the coverage is still relevant. We have routing and switching. We have Cisco Nexus. We have compute, Cisco UCS. We have virtualization and we have storage. Number two spot, we have CCIE, excuse me, CCIE enterprise infrastructure. This is the most popular CCIE track because it's relevant or aligned to CCNA and CCNP enterprise track, which is the fundamentals of Cisco core solutions. We know it's all routing and switching. And the number one spot is CCI security. 
because it's cybersecurity. You will understand various security solutions such as VPN, next generation firewall, IDS slash IPS, IAM, email security, wireless security, content security, malware protection, and you will have a greater understanding of routing, switching, and wireless as well.